you too what's up squad welcome back to the channel i know it's been a minute since i uploaded a video meaning um it's been a minute usually i upload every week but it's been about a month and some change i haven't uploaded a video i just been crazy busy with the barber shop as you guys know that follow my channel or that's new that's watching this video I am a barbershop owner. I definitely want to tune in with you guys and make this video. And today's video topic is how did I open up my barbershop at a young age? I opened up my barbershop when I was 21 years old. A lot of people in the comment section ask questions on how did I open up a barbershop and um, what did it take? You know, so I definitely want to go over some topics today, some strategies. You know, it's always good to get knowledge from the people that already experienced the business, you know, me as myself. So that's why I want to give back some game, you know, because when I was growing up, as far as uh, becoming a barber, you know, when I first got into the barber game i was looking up um barber videos on how to open a barber shop what does it take you know how does it operate this and that so there wasn't too many videos out there so that's why i want to create my own channel share the game share my content and just share with the world and connect with other people you know i love you guys i appreciate everybody tuning in so let's get into the video so let's get into the video on how to open up a barber shop you know, with that being said become an entrepreneur is something you gotta want you know if you want to open up a business or anything that you want to create it gotta come from you so what made me open up a barber shop is I had a game plan when I was cutting in the garage when I first started out you know I always want to have a game plan you know you always got to have a game plan become an entrepreneur or just your journey in general you know it's gonna be a lot easier so you know make sure to have a game plan um, so when I was in the garage like I said I want to be become a dope barber first I want to get my barber license work in the barbershop get an experience then um, start my own brand you know which is the lavish barber then you know I also want to open up my own barber shop. So basically accomplish one thing after checklist you know become a dope barber learn to cut all these types of hair these hair styles um, and just always to keep learning so then I went to barber college got my barber license accomplished that worked in a barber shop where I used to get my hair cut all the time and uh, worked there for four years just one barber shop I worked at learned the game you know I was financially ready at 20 years old so um but I wasn't mentally ready at 20 years old for the responsibility on that so you know I waited another year 21 and that's when um I made it happen, you know, become an entrepreneur, open up my own barbershop. So 21 years old, I opened up my own barbershop. And so, you know, the ways to get there, you know, you got to be financially ready. I didn't take out no loans. That's just me, though. You know, personally, I didn't want to take out no loans. I don't want to be in debt with no bank or nothing like that. Like I said, that's just me personally. You know, I want to just do it cash. So, you know, as I was working at the other barbershop, I was just stacking my money, stacking my money, you know. Um, keeping my debt low, you know, as far as I wasn't taking out hella loans and nothing like that. I really just stayed away from the loans. The only time I took out loans was with a credit card and that was just to help on my credit. So that's another thing, you know, you got to make sure your credit is really good. Um, not really good, but you know, good enough where they're going to look at your credit history and like, okay, this guy takes care of business, you know, or this lady takes care of business, you know? So I would say be mentally ready, you know, uh, two, be financially ready. Uh, three, make sure your credit is good because these property managers that you get um, interviews with and um, have meetings with, they look at that, you know, so they look at your FICO score, they look at your uh, experience, TransUnion, all these credit scores, they look at that. That's really the keys right there is, you know, for sure, mentally ready, meaning have a game plan, make sure you're ready for this type of responsibility, know what it comes with, the ins and outs, because of course you're going to be making more money when you're running out stations or doing commission, however you want to do it. So, uh, so definitely be ready for that you know you got to make sure your shop is clean sanitized um, hiring the right people making sure they keep their um, stations clean making sure the customers is cool you know as far as the barbers treating the cus customers cool because you don't want nobody to argue with customers and you know just because it's a barber shop you still want your business to keep going you know what I'm saying you want those good reviews and just all that you know that reputation of good service you know then again we can't please everybody so you got to be like I said be mentally ready for all that responsibility to uh, you know, commit it. You know what I'm saying? You're spending thousands of dollars. How are you doing it with your own personal money that you saved up with or you're taking out a loan? You know, how do you want to do it? So you're spending a lot of money, a lot of time into a business. You know, you're putting your vision into that business. So, you know, definitely got to be ready financially. My opinion, try to keep your debt low. You know, I, at the time I had like a $40,000 loan on my car and that was kind of like the only biggest loan that I had. So, um, but he seen my income as far as, you know, my debt to income and he said I was good. Um, yeah, so never, uh, had a messed up credit history. I built my credit history up. So I'm saying it because it's just important in general as an entrepreneur or self-employment just to have good credit. So that's really important. So, um, I was at the age where when I was 18 and stuff, 19, I didn't care about credit, you know, like. I was like, whatever, you pay for it cash. That was my mentality then, but as I start learning and learning, you know, I'm always the type to be open-minded and just to learn. And that's another thing, becoming an entrepreneur, you always want to learn. You know, majority of entrepreneurs, they're not 
I would say comfortable. You know, some are, you know, and to each his own. You're nothing against it. Um, but me, uh, you know, I always love to learn. I always like to ask questions. You know, that's one thing at the other barbershop where I worked at before I opened up my own. I always ask questions on how does he deal with this situation or how does it come with like this, you know. So just to feed myself that knowledge with the wisdom and the experience, you know. So get all that, you know, that's really important. So uh, I, me personally, I wouldn't be closed minded. Be open minded, you know, shake some hands, network, because you never know when you're going to use those resources. That's the main thing I really feel like is important. One, be ready for the responsibility. Two, be financially ready. Three, make make sure your credit history is good. Um, four, just have a game plan. You know, like have a game plan. I feel like that's where it starts from too. And that goes into the mentality for uh, rule number one is just have a game plan. You know, know what you're going into. Know what it comes with. You know what I'm saying? And you're always going to learn. Even when you open up your business, you know, just have a game plan. So it's really important to have a game plan and um, option A, B, and C. You know, in case this don't uh, work out, you got an option B and option C. You know what I'm saying? So it's always important to have... Um, a game plan also uh have emergency money saved up that's very important in case things don't go as planned you know that's part of the game plan is just to have money saved up to cover your rent to cover your car bill whatever you're in debt with you know to pay make sure to keep paying your bills on time so um because you don't want to spend all these thousands of dollars opening up a shop and next thing you know you can't pay the rent because you got no barber so it's always important to have emergency money saved up very important too is location that's another thing making sure when you open up a business you always have want to have a good location me, I'm in between a bunch of high schools, elementary schools, and middle schools. So my community is good. My barbershop is um, at a red light. So when people come to a red light, they'll see my business. You know, that's all traffic. That's people's, your business is getting exposed, you know. So um, location is very important as well. Uh, making sure you get the good, um, you know, monthly payment that you're comfortable for your rent. So don't do things that is going to be uncomfortable, you know. Like really, like do your research. Uh, and be ready for that you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you're going to be responsible for paying those bills you're going to be responsible for that lease so all that's important um i'm just going off the top of my head just really like what i'm telling you guys is real this is what it's going to become in reality when you guys open up a business you know when it comes to that and it's normal to be nervous at first because i was nervous at first but i was confident too like this is what i do you know what i'm saying this is what i do like i'm a barber but yeah you know just take your time with it don't ever rush things uh you know and just build your way where you're ready for the opportunity because every opportunity that comes your way is not a good opportunity so for surely just um be ready for that and just take your time with it like i said the barbershop what it comes with you know so pretty much it, it runs itself the barbershop however you want to do it the commission like i said hourly pay people or rent out chairs me i rent out chairs it's easier that's how i was raised with in the other shop and a lot of shops are just really booth rent so um yeah you know like i said it's easy it's fun you meet a lot of people please hit that like button and just don't be afraid to ask questions so that's pretty much what i got to tell you guys if you guys got any more questions let me know in the comment section please you know on any topics that i talked about today let me know in the comment section i'll be glad to answer them you know hopefully this video covered a lot for what you guys um were asking for you know hopefully this video covered a lot for what you guys were thinking about also if you guys are new to this channel please make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell until next time y'all peace